Our next speaker is Alex Fatal of Anthropology, who will speak to us about guerrilla marketing, information war, and the demobilization of FARC rebels. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Kuriyama, and thank you all for being here. Now, this looks like a Revlon ad, right? It's really a piece of propaganda from the Colombian Ministry of Defense urging women in the insurgency to trade in their fatigues for heels and transition to civilian life. Gorilla, feel like a woman again, demobilize is its main point or punchline. Now, the war in Colombia is the longest running armed conflict in the Western Hemisphere. It dates back to 1964, when the FARC, a Marxist-Leninist guerrilla insurgency, was founded. By 1998, the conflict had come to a boil. In that year, the CIA warned there was a 50% chance the FARC could take power within 10 years. Cut to 2002, and from the embers of a failed peace process rose a counterinsurgency invigorated by nearly $2 billion in US military aid. 2003 is the first year of the program that's the subject of my research, which is the Program for Humanitarian Attention to the Demobilized, or POD, within the Colombian Ministry of Defense. And basically, the POD persuades individuals in the FARC to put down their weapons, transition to civilian life. It forgives the political crime of joining the insurgency, and it offers basic social welfare. But, and, and here's a big but, in exchange, it seeks the active collaboration of former rebels in the persecution of their compañeros. That could mean guiding military troops during combat operations or working with intelligence officers to demobilize their friends, helping the military locate rebel stashes of weapons, drugs, or money. One military intelligence officer actually used this gesture to describe the ringing of information from former combatants. Now, is this a better way of extracting intel than torture? Yes, but it very much keeps former combatants involved in the war and exposed to reprisals from the FARC. Now, here's an example of an early piece of propaganda from the pod in 2003, Fair, fairly classic propaganda leaflet dropped over rebel areas. And the pod's propaganda becomes more sophisticated, becomes more creative, becomes more targeted in 2007, when the pod contracts the same PR firm that represents Mazda and Red Bull in Colombia. Suddenly, the pod starts bombarding rebel areas with soccer balls with a demobilization message stickered to it. It begins camouflaging the message as a lipstick advertisement. In 2010, this partnership between the pod and this elite PR firm produced the hit, the Christmas campaigns appealing emotionally to individuals in the FARC to desert and, and reunite with their families during the Christmas season. Here's a very brief excerpt from the 2010 Christmas campaign. Christmas campaign was a hit. It, it really catapulted the pod into international view. Suddenly, they started winning PR awards in Cannes and London. Simultaneously, other conflict zones all around the world, from Afghanistan to the Democratic Republic of Congo, Iraq to Somalia, began studying Colombia's demobilization program. They see in the Colombian experiment a means of transitioning to peace through a combination 
of military intelligence and media warfare. Ironically, marketing executives and counterinsurgency strategists are repurposing the tactics of mobility, camouflage, surprise, spectacle, the same tactics honed by guerrilla movements over decades to fight one of the world's longest running guerrilla insurgencies, the FARC. Now, these guerrilla marketing campaigns radically rebrand the Colombian armed forces and contribute to a broader claim that Colombia is in the midst of a miraculous transformation. At stake in this concerted effort to tell and to sell the Colombian success story is nothing less than a new model for ending intractable political violence, even if that new model has not yet been vetted. Right now, in Havana, Cuba, the Colombian government and the FARC are in the midst of intensive negotiations that could lead to a comprehensive peace agreement essentially ending 50 years of civil war. If that happens, if the FARC as a group goes from bullets to ballots, and if the Colombian government shifts to a non-militarized way of reintegrating former combatants, then guerrilla marketing may become a new model in conflict resolution. But problematically, this Colombian model conceives of demobilization not as a way of implementing a peace agreement the way the UN has historically conceived of demobilization, but rather as a means of debilitating an adversary, just one more tool for a counterinsurgency, and then signing a peace agreement on more favorable terms. This paradigm shift has real implications. It, it blurs the boundaries not only between propaganda and advertising, but also between war and peace. Thank you very much.